With children at home and out of school longer than usual, injuries in the home are on the rise. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker finds out ways to prevent those injuries from happening in the first place. There's some key things we want to point out so that children can stay safe um, in homes, especially as more parents are working from home and juggling the responsibilities of their own work and then helping children with their schoolwork. Jennifer Northway, the Director of Adult and Pediatric Injury Prevention with University Health System, says there are many places around the home where things can go terribly wrong. The first involves cleaning products and the possibility of poisoning. So it's very important for us to consider where are we storing those items? Are we properly uh, tightening the lids to those items? We want to make sure that nothing could come open and then have a child either ingest that uh, liquid or fluid or um, be exposed to some fluid that could be caustic to their skin. Another are weapons in the home with children around and even adults with dementia. We want to remind you at this time especially, it's important to store it away, locked, uh, without any ammunition in it and separate from that ammunition. Other Save Kids tips keep all medicine out of children's reach and sight. Watch kids of all ages when they are swimming in backyard pools. Keep hot foods and beverages away from the edge of counters and tables. Separate toys by age and keep little game pieces away from little kids. And create a safe place for kids to play by installing safety gates on stairs and guards on windows to prevent falls. If you don't already have baby gates or you have gotten used to not using it, you might consider putting the baby gate back in place. For more information on how to prevent injuries around the home, check out this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5 Eyewitness News. Also, for more information about family health, you can call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of Wear the Gown stories. Just go to wearthegown.com. We will be right back.